happy? Happy. Today is a huge honour for me um, with the opening of this building and the handing it over to Intanga School. No, no, so we may now school banning our cool. We go to work here with school buildings. No, we take it and nigger and wear a school in the St. Changa primary school. I'll tell you a little bit about me. I moved here in January 2009. I came here to work for the charity Lions Raw. When I first came here, I went straight to Inchanga School where I was welcomed and I started off by doing football coaching there with the young children. You have a lot of good footballers. As part of the project in 2010, uh, Mr. Shaw asked us about this building. Uh, we had 13 guys come over from the UK who worked for eight solid days to build this up. <laughs> These guys give up their own time, their own holidays and their own money to come to this area to help. I, I would personally like to now thank those guys who came and spent the time working here on this building. When this building was completed, it was originally for 56 children. Today there is 171 children learning at the school. As John has just said, we are committed to this school and over the next two to three years we would like to extend it by building at least another six classrooms. Over the last... Over the last two weeks, we have now started working building some toilet blocks. And the great thing about this is it's not just English guys who are working on it now. We have local guys in this immediate area who are helping build. We are very grateful for their help and the time that they've given us. This building is not ours. This building belongs to you guys. You guys own it and you guys need to look after it and make sure that it doesn't get damaged. We believe that education is vital and we are very, very pleased with the standard that this school is producing for these learners. I'd like to thank Mr. Shell, the principal, for his friendship and the way that he runs his school and the way that he's an excellent role model, as well as all of his staff.